Hello and welcome back. So it's been a long time since I last recorded. I can't remember actually where I got to, but what I've been doing so far, uh, I think we can do it in this few, is I set up these little mining outposts and I went all over and I did copper. I made this iron one I had earlier coming because I've only got those two sources of iron. Uh, I also did this one here, fancy copper and this one. So I've got enough copper to meet the demand I want, but I do not have enough iron. But what I'll do is I'm going to build the factory for the size I would like it, which is not, I mean, I, I, let me read it out. So I'm, I'm going for one a second of the local transport ships. Why are we half, ha sorry, half a ship every second for the interstellar ones. And I'm aiming for a, an intergalactic tower every, I don't know, 30 or 40 seconds, something like that. Um, and that should be enough because it'll continuously backlog and keep working. So I think it'll be all right. So that means what we need to do now is work out where we're gonna build. And I think the answer is not this way, but as you see, we've got this long, long, long strip all the way around. I think what I'll do is take it from this iron one where I am now and just build in this direction. And I'll do it on the other side of the solar panels because there's definitely nothing in the way. And let's see. So if we jump over here. What I'm trying to do is do it a component at a time. So if I stop here right now, I've done all I can for sort of iron. What I haven't done is magnet, so I need to make a little magnet factory that will build about 12 seconds. So we'll do that in a second. And I think that's it for raw resources. We've already got plenty of silicon, already got plenty of copper. So we're getting there, actually. We're getting there. But I just need to sort out magnets. So I need 20 a second in my interstellar ones. And eight a second so roughly 32 so i need to do three belts oh wow that's going to be interesting okay welcome back so i've managed to build out these magnets and it's just about enough um to keep it going but still again i'm within like two or four a second that's not too bad and as we get over here to the magnetic coils you start seeing the problem the magnets aren't coming in and I've got the gears and there's no iron coming in because I don't have enough uh, logistics robots. So I'm in the process of crafting quite a few. And hopefully when that is done, it's, it's uh, about 15 minute queue of building, but it's fine. When it's done, we'll have all the magnets and the gears done, which basically I think leaves me just with uh motors yeah motors electric motors uh circuit boards and other components so what i want to do is probably the processor components and the motors yeah we'll do the motors next we need we need 12 a second motors so let we can get that done uh we'll do that after we get the bits in here that takes care of some of the problems we having and we need what's this uh two and a half 2.2 advanced processors five uh one so a factory for the i can't remember what's called i think it's called the advanced processor which where is it here processor yeah not circuit board so we need a 12 ish a second for this one if we can get it and we need quite a bit of this so we'll be working towards that when that's done we actually have a lot of what we need done and then it's on to the uh, particle accelerator um, i'm not going to make carbon nanotubes i think i already got those set up to be exported i need to double check when i go back to the other place but we're not that far away it's it's like the electric motors the particle and the processors and the reinforced is it this one titanium alloy Yes, yeah, so we've got to make a titanium alloy, these things, and these, and we pretty much have everything. And then we'll be on to the, the final stages of getting there. So, I'm going to crack on and get those built, 
and hopefully uh, get a load of these little robot things crafted so we can uh, start start seeing the process build. So I'll be back in a bit when I've got those uh, logistic robots in there and I'm starting to build out the motor. So I'll bring you back when I've done something similar. I'll build the motor factory and the electric motor one. I'll bring you back. I'll do the circuit boards. Blah, blah, blah. Yeggly smaggly. See you in a second. Okay, I just came back here because I needed some... Actually, I forgot what I came for. Uh... Oh, I need to make some more belts. That was it. But I kind of discovered that I am not producing any more carbon stuff. So I think it's because I've got too much light fuel. And while this might not be the best use of fuel, uh, I think I'll just burn it for energy. So let's see if this works. Hopefully they pull in. Okay. It's not so bad. It's not exactly burning the midnight oil, but I think that's going to help us a little bit with keeping things in check here. I'm just going to throw down a few more of these and just make sure that, well, basically, I get as many as I can in. Because we do need to do something about our lack of sulfur and carbon being produced. And this, this at least will, in theory, uh, help it continue to build. So. It's a little bit more power. Not that we need it, but it's at least burning that excess. Now, if that is going well, we haven't got a yellow sign, so that should at least now be fluctuating. Yeah, ever so slightly. But it is, it's moving, and we're pulling it from both, which is good. Now, do I have any research I could be doing? Yes, is the answer. So let's get some of this going because this also helps me to burn my fuel you're not yellow so i can't do you uh sure might as well research all of this and it's ready for next time and all of this is kind of automated that's not it's not bad progress whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. crash 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 okay. so hopefully this will solve this problem Alright, I'm going to assume that is fixed, because I am confident, and look, resources are coming in, how could it not be fixed? That does mean I need to head back to the, <laughs> the other planet now and start building it. It's taking me a lot longer to get this done than I'd, I'd hoped, but let's see, we'll at least get the engines finished in today's episode, and I'll probably have to just do the circuits in my spare time, because it's taking too long to progress, and I want to make sure we get something done. We're taking on a lot of automation, so actually, while we're doing it, why don't we fly back to our other planet? This one. And trust that I have everything I need, even if I don't. Cool, so let's open our solar cell, get there a bit quicker this time. So I don't want to use more than half my energy, so I'll never stop when I get there. But yeah, I, I think we managed to get the engines done. Or mostly done. We should be able to get the uh, reinforced titanium, because I checked that, that is available. I don't have to worry about making it, I'm already, in quotes, making it, even if I'm not making enough. I am, I have some. That means we realistically only have circuits as a bulk item to build. Oh, crash bang. That was, that was rough. Right, let's just go over here. Oh, and I can show you my current dilemma as well, actually. Oh, because I did go back for one item. So these, these all now have ships in. 
so they are transporting goods around as you see this is all backlogged all good this is producing gears all good and then we get here and the reason I stopped is this realistically needs three inputs which the local tower only does three so I had a cunning idea which was well if it needs three why don't I um, place these change this to be the other engine like this and now it needs magnets which I'm also getting for these engines uh, I believe it's the one I need not two per second one so now I can build all of this from one and the, cons the build rate of this yeah it's two for two so I'd need to add a slightly quicker it's like quicker one in, but it's fine. And now I've got these belts, I should be able to do that. Last time I tried, I ran out. Yeah, so I grabbed one of these. We can drop that there in alignment. We can grab one of these belts and. Uh, bring it on that little line. We'll take it from here. But the problem I have here is I have three things I need in and one coming out. So I either throw it into a different center or I use a different building. So I'm going to use the intergalactic one. Um, oh no. Don't tell me. I didn't check if I could make one. I just left. Oh, I can make one. Thank goodness. <laughs> Uh, I knew that was the whole reason I went. So anyway, if we upgrade this to the the bigger engine one, that one. So we got magnets in here. We got the other engines in here. We can now, hang on, let's make sure we've got an, an output as well. Boom. So what I'm thinking is we copy this one, and we just do this. We'll take it to there. That's the what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In theory, we should be able to do twelve. So let's let's grab some more of this into here. Uh, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. So I'm I'm hoping this works. It's kind of untested, but hey, half the fun of this is finding out if something like this will work. So I'd like those to be there. We want the solitary input, I think, will come into the middle. And this is going to have three things. So this is going to need magnets for sure. Um, iron was the third item we needed for the engine. Cannot re gears, gears, it's gears. That's the whole reason for building gears. So we need those three items for this. Yep. This needs an engine and gear and the magnet. And the only export from here will be the engine itself. So that'd be local supply. So uh, local demand. Local demand. Uh, local demand. But I want to change this to also remote demand because we're never going to find any else. Because eventually we are going to run out. So we need to get that one with magnets as well. So let's do that quickly. That's that one. And I'll just check, I think it's the iron that's two per second. Pretty sure. Yeah. So we want to make sure we grab the right belt from here. The iron. And it doesn't matter for the rest. It'll be magnets. And you can be gears. But in theory. This should now be enough to start making things. 
I'm hoping, I'm hoping it is. It's about the right ratio as well, what we need. Uh, the engines are flying out, nice. Come on, do we need any more? Any more for any more? You're missing gears. Why are you not pulling those gears in? So let's get rid of that. Add another one in. There we go. Was just keeping up speed wise there. So I actually I might be able to extend this, but we'll we'll leave it running and see how it goes. Um, even. Even if I can extend that side, I doubt I can extend this side. As you can see, the engines just don't really make it down. But we'll leave it running. Engines are going in. That is helping a lot. What we do need now, though, is some locally robot -y thingies, drones. I've only got six. Can I make any more? No. Because once again, I am out. So I really need to focus on uh, the little local robots. But that is one more thing ticked off my list of to-dos. So I'm... I'm quite happy with that. So, what does that leave? That leaves the processors, the thrusters, and the bots. We're going to have to get on that. I think we're going to leave that till next episode. Because this has gone on far too long. But it looks like next episode should be should be quite straightforward. We've only got the circuits, the, the process components, the processor, the thruster, and the actual item. And... It's the same for both the transport ships. Uh, we're already making the uh, Britannian, reinforced Britannian. So it's mainly just the processor and then the thruster. So actually we can make the thrusters, I think now, we've automated everything there. Yes. We've automated everything we need for the thrusters. So that's, that's fine. It's just the processor stopping us. And then it's onto the towers, uh, which again is processors and the slightly more awkward uh, particle container but I think we're largely we're largely there so thanks very much for watching apologies this one again I'm buying off way too much like I maybe I should um, have smaller projects but the way I, I see this is this is we're now making what I'd call like a solar system wide mall ah, look at that I've got plenty of power, and I, I didn't actually show you guys earlier. Um, but our power we're generating now is almost 300 megawatts. Uh, and we're, we can only consume 50 because we can only build two of the um, ray receivers. So we do need to automate this as well. Um, luckily, because we're automating so much now, a lot of this is easily automatable as well. And I, yeah, we're trying to get a certain throughput here, but we're not. That's gross. It's, this is going to be a higher throughput than what we've got in our mall, but this is basically a planet-sized mall. So the the goal here is to just make all the items as we are in the mall. There's going to be plenty of stuff flying around, and every now and then have those items available off planet as well, and that should help. So, like the main goal here is to make sure that the Planetary logistic towers, the interstellar logistic towers, plus the logistics drone and logistics vessel are all available remotely. If that happens, then whenever we go to any other planet, we can start getting up and working. It should be fine. Um, likewise, power ray receivers is something else we need to build on this planet because we want to just get to the planet, drop it down. That means anything in this solar system is nice and straightforward. Now, the one challenge we do have is if we go to another solar system we don't have Dyson here we don't have easy power generation but that's not a problem um one thing i've never done but i know is possible uh have i researched it i haven't researched it ah here it is this interstellar power transmission it, it it's a bit of a misleading name what it is is a way of taking power from your grid and storing it in accumulators you can then take the charged accumulators for your interstellar galactics uh, grid thing drop them on another planet and just suck the power out of them there's a nice way of moving power between planets and if you're going to a new a new solar system it's a good way of probably getting up and going um particularly until we get some pretty funky power generation which i think we're quite a way off 
yeah so artificial star is a long way off and that's probably the the next way we do it but this is our interim so yeah we're working on that anyway thanks very much for watching sorry it's been a bit rambly hopefully it will be fine but hey look we've got a dyson swarm that's uh it's nice and look the logistic robots are coming around we made some good progress but it's just taking a lot longer than planned anyway thanks for watching have a good time see you in the next one